It is December 1st, oh, this time for my very first Vlogmas and I love watching Vlogmas, I love the Christmas time, I love Advent time, I really wanted to share some of that holiday Christmas cheer with you. You're going to be getting three videos a week from me between now and Christmas. So what is my Vlogmas going to look like? It's always going to have two parts. So there's going to be some of the Christmas traditions, Advent time, my personal life, how I celebrate it, which obviously is going to be a little different this year from what I might usually do when Corona is not around. And then the second part is always going to be some kind of illustration related content. I will always make sure to mark the times below in the description so that if you're only interested in more of the Christmassy vibes kind of content and my personal life, then you can jump straight to that. Or if you're only interested in illustration, then you can jump to that part. Today, what I'm going to start with is the illustration content and then there'll be the Christmassy content. But remember, marks are down below. So watch whichever parts bring you the very most joy. Mwah. Come November, one of my favorite things in stores are all the gorgeous paper advent calendars. And this year I decided to have my own made. It took me quite some time to find a printer that would do a small run of only 100 calendars and that I really like the quality of. What you see me doing here is painstakingly trying to measure out the components of this advent calendar template that I received so that I could figure out how to draw so that the windows that open on the calendar would match windows and doors in my drawing. Now I was getting really frustrated and wasted probably a good day trying to figure out how to do this and then I had finally the brilliant idea that well if they had sent me a paper copy then surely they would have a digital version of the template. And of course they did. So they sent it to me and I was able to print it out and easily blow it up to the scale that I actually wanted to paint in. So it was a lot easier from there on and I moved over for the final touches digitally for that sketch that I wanted to create so that I could start with my painting. So you'll see just a little time lapse of that digital part and then you'll hear a little from me and we'll get into the painting. Just wanted to pop by and say, I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I finished it. I finished the sketch. I didn't know if I was going to be able to complete anything that I would really think was worthy to go and paint as an advent calendar, but I just finished it and now I got to grab that light box so I can transfer this sketch onto the watercolor paper and get moving. And it's already November as I'm filming this. so. You'll see this in Vlogmas, but I pre-filmed this so you could see the process of how I created the advent calendar. But yeah, I need to really keep at it to make sure I can get this to the printer and get this out in time to all of you. So enough talking, let's get to painting. <laughs> Next step is complete. It took so, so many hours to transfer the sketch onto the watercolor paper. So that's what you see here. This is actually going to be, I know you can't necessarily tell yet, but this is going to be like gingerbread house, so gingerbread house front rather than normal houses. And then likely I will choose a 
mm, well I guess there's no real complimentary color but um, a blue one because I think it is a very wintry kind of color and also yeah because that should work well with the brown and the white um, so let's see digital touches of adding a little snow icing and yeah just improving some of the line work adding a little more contrast and just generally cleaning this up so that it would look better in a print version so as these go out to the printer let's go have a little Christmassy fun together but first a surprise I'm giving away five of my advent calendars I will send them anywhere in the world five different people, one advent calendar each. I cannot guarantee they will get there by Christmas at this point. You know what the postal system situation is this year, but I will give my very best, meaning that they will go into the mail in two days on December 3rd. I will give you 24 hours to leave a comment below if you're interested. You don't have to give me any more information other than, hey, yep, I would love to win one. And uh, then if you do, we'll figure out a way how to contact each other so I can get your postal address. And yeah, you might be one of the five lucky ones who received one for free. We've been renting our Christmas tree from the same place, Gärtnerei Niederberger in Kriens, for the past three years. And I just well, absolutely I love the idea of renting a living Christmas. potted tree because, first of all, the environmental impact is so much better. And secondly, this is a living, breathing thing, and it's a beautiful thing not to have to chop it down and then just chuck it out into the trash or the street. One contender. I like this guy right here. I know. He's pretty perfect. He's coming in hot. I'm, 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 I'm feeling that guy. What else we got? Another one over here. He's, he's talking to me. Something magical because when you look out on the crowd, like the pokies stand out. Look at them. There's one. There's a the guy. The pokies. I think some pokies. Like a little crown of pokies <laughs> with the Charlie Brown body. I think that's a, that's a solid Christmas gift right there. I know. It's like. I'm kind of worried about where I'm going to put my ornaments because, um, yeah, I know. I you know, I need the branches to actually be able to hang things on, That's but it's idea, also yeah. very natural, like, yeah, I don't I know, like, I feel like this nice guy's touch. a fighter, you know, like he said, hey, even if I'm not like the strongest body-wise, like, he's still a champ, he's got a crown, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we have the one, definitely not perfect, but imperfect, imperfect. Look how cute. Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. The love I live, the dream I knew. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All right, so what is your favorite thing about the Christmas tree that we picked? I like the crowns. I like the pokies on the top. I've never seen the pokies on a Christmas so, tree. Just so you guys know, he was calling them acorns, which I suppose, I don't know if that's the right term, oh. but it's definitely better than uh Are they pine pokies. cones? They're pine yes, cones. Yes, yes, They're yes, that's acorns. the word. <laughs> but I didn't know the English word. In German, it's Tannenzapfen. I didn't know, so I started calling them pokies, and then he made fun of it, but now look who's using this term. <laughs> it grew on me, okay? It grew on me. You're right. I liked the pokies. The pokies looked good on the trees. <laughs> 
So yeah, we, we got a little uh, a little tree with the crown, and I'm super excited. It's it's a little bit on the Charlie Brown side, um, a little imperfect, but it'll give us that feeling of of a true woodsy kind of element I, in the home, and I think that's beautiful. I think every Charlie Brown tree deserves a chance, right? Aww. And so now they're getting a good home this year. <laughs> All right, so it's going to take about a week for the tree to get delivered. So remember to subscribe. This is only day one of Vlogmas. So if you want to see us decorate it, and I love Christmas decorations, so you're in for a treat, I think, uh, to have a really nicely decorated Charlie Brown kind of Christmas tree. Yeah. Just got back from work, and uh, I'm like a, a little worn, I know. It's been a long day. When I walked into the apartment, this is what greeted me, which I know is a very indescript box, but what it is, is the package from the printer. So yeah, my advent calendars have arrived. I am quite nervous. If something went wrong, if I am not happy with the colors or anything else like that, it's too late to fix it for this year. These have to go out into the mail this week or by the weekend at the very latest. So yeah! Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to be pretty happy with this. Let us have a look. I love it! Oh, it's beautiful! Yes! yes. I think it's pretty beautiful. Oh. It's perfect. Alright, I'm going to open one just to see how that turned out. And this, my loves, is the face of disappointment. <sighs> yeah. The problem that I'm seeing in this moment is definitely not the printer's fault. It is my fault. Ah! But if you want to know what went wrong, you're going to have to come back for Vlogmas number two.